Uh, that's just one of the off the beaten path events at the Olympics. By the time the Tokyo Games wrap up, they'll have spanned 339 events, 33 different sports, encompassing a total of 50 disciplines, covering everything from swimming to dressage to track and field to the lesser known events like canoeing and badminton. It's just amazing. But did you know that over the years, the Olympics have played host to some very unusual competitions? Who else but our Mike Polk breaks down some of the strangest <laughs> Olympic sports of all time. Sorry, you just caught me training. I don't know if you heard, but breakdancing has been added as an official Olympic sport to the 2024 Games. Now that might seem odd to you, but there's been no shortage of somewhat peculiar events since the modern Olympics began. Of course, we still have a few. Speed walking will never not be hilarious, because just look at it. And dressage, which is a fancy way of saying horse dancing, remains a hilariously sinister way to rob a magnificent animal of its dignity. But some odd Olympic sports haven't been so fortunate and were lost to the sands of time. Here are some of my favorite now defunct Olympic sports. Obstacle swimming. Let's be honest, it's a lot easier to swim when there's nothing in your way. Competitors in this one-time event were not granted such luxury as they were forced to swim under and climb over various obstructions like metal poles and scattered rowboats to claim victory. Turns out that showboat Mikey Phelps had it easy. Skijoring. This one rules. Debuting in Switzerland in 1928, competitors don skis and race each other on a frozen lake while being dragged by horses. It sounds potentially perilous for everyone involved, and I would like to watch that. I'd also like to know who decided to get rid of that ice-based sport, but still kept this one. A little more, you got it, you got it, you got it. Really nice to meet guys. Solo synchronized swimming. Watching two world-class swimmers perform in perfect synchronicity with each other is very impressive. But if you remove one of those people, it just becomes a crazy person dancing alone in a swimming pool. Just go find a friend to water dance with. Rope climbing. That's right, someone was once awarded a gold medal for being the very best at everyone's least favorite day in gym class. Club dancing. It really happened, and it was seriously just this. They didn't even juggle them. Clowns try harder. Le Can. Finally, an international competition where athletes try to land blows on each other with big old sticks. This was pretty much just fencing, but less pointy. Plunging for distance. This event required competitors to dive from a stationary position, then glide underwater without making any additional movements. Critics complained that the sport required no athleticism and greatly favored heavier Olympians. The world just wasn't ready. And finally, town planning. Did you know that there was once an arts portion of the Olympic Games that included competitions and everything from literature to sculpture, and even the profoundly unathletic skill of designing architecturally efficient city plans? I'm sure the crowd went wild for this one. Nice gazebo placement, USA! The lesson here, of course, is to enjoy your favorite odd Olympic events now while you can, because one day they might be removed for becoming too weird by contemporary standards. We must cherish them while they're still here. This is Mike, popping and locking for 3 News. <laughs>